the World Championships, Key West 1992, and Bob Kaiser steps in for Hugo Colombo and teams up with Jeff Sofer in the Budweiser machine. It was going to be like the old days, Bob Kaiser in Key West for the World Championship title. An international field had come to Key West for the World Championship, and Bob Kaiser was in his element. Budweiser, Bob Kaiser in the driver's seat, and for over a decade, Bob has fought in the offshore wars, won some, lost a few, through it all. Bob Kaiser keeps coming back for more. Standing six foot three with rugged good looks, Bob Kaiser knows the waters off Key West all too well. In 1986, after narrowly losing the national championship, Kaiser and throttle man Errol Near struck back and won their first ever world championship over a very competitive open class fleet. Every wave has a crest and a trough. Four years later, here in Key West, Kaiser was forced to beat his cougar cat to save it from the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. As in life, Bob Kaiser's approach to the sport is anything but conservative. Yeah, well, I think that I've always been a very aggressive driver. I don't think, might be even people could say sometime I'm not the smartest racer, but I don't think I've ever heard anybody say that I wasn't an aggressive racer, you know. In the rough stuff, we go for it, and uh, we do keep ourselves up to, uh, in, in good condition, and uh, sometimes when other people get tired and the going gets tough, you just got to stay with it and get stronger and go for it, and that's what we do best. Whether waving the checkered flag in the winner's circle or nursing a wounded race boat back to port, Bob Kaiser stands tall as one of the sport's true heroes. He got the call at the last minute, didn't even have time to put his own name on the cockpit. Bobby Kaiser trying to steer Budweiser home to victory in the open class. After hundreds of miles of grueling ocean racing, Bob Kaiser once again finished high on the leaderboard.